Hey, what's up, chicas? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super well today. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a safe and beautiful weekend. So today, here we are with yet another design. And I just had to bring this one to you guys ASAP because I loved it so much. I loved it so much, you guys. I couldn't wait. I just had to upload it for you guys and now. So this is a be design inspired like kind of like that i would say um i had been seeing some of them online on instagram on tiktok on pinterest and i don't know i guess it was just calling my name and i just had to do something so i did went ahead and double tipped these nails just because i wanted them to be a little bit longer than usual so I went ahead and double tipped I went ahead and used my flat tips or my tapered square flat tips which will be available pretty soon on my online store um, the 25% off discount ends tonight at 12 a.m. you guys today is the last day if you guys have been eyeballing some of the products if you guys have been you know um, wanting to buy something today is the last day of the 25% off the entire store okay so the link to my online store will be in the description box below and uh, yeah so here I'm just gonna be applying butter pecan I'm gonna be working with this uh, beautiful like nudie brownie I don't know I just love it it is available on my online store as well and I'm going to be applying it onto my whole index nail. And um, you guys are going to see me kind of add several beads to it. It's just because, like I said, these are way long. These are super long nails. And, of course, there's more product needed. There's more uh, beads needed. I usually work with, like, three to four beads, you guys. But for this nail, I think I use, like, six or seven beads. I don't even know, you guys. But it doesn't really matter how many beads you use as long as your structure is perfect as long as your nail is just perfect you know I'm not saying perfect perfect but as long as it looks good it's all good you guys just go ahead and use how many beads you need to use it doesn't really matter so next I'm gonna be using this yellow and I'm gonna be applying it here on like the whole nail of my middle nail of my middle finger and um, as you guys can see here this is a pretty I would say bright yellow but it's not very neon which is what I wanted and this is from uh, honey fan nails if you guys didn't know I do have a color similar to this one that just recently got put up on my website um, and yeah okay <laughs> in case you guys are wondering um, but yeah this one is from honey fan and I'm gonna be applying it all throughout this nail like I said, there's much more beads needed since these nails are way too long. Um, I am using more product. So the brush that I'm using is my number 14 brush, which is available on my online store as well. I do have the 12 and the 14. And yeah, you guys. So um, I'm going to be applying this yellow throughout the nail. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, I guess, like a peekaboo fringe on my ring nail i would call it that way because i'm gonna be applying a little bit of glitter on the cuticle area and then i'm gonna go ahead and do my fringe on it uh so that's how i would call it but it's not i don't know you're gonna see it in a moment um, but yeah then i'm gonna be doing a french using the same nude that we just used which is butter pecan so um the glitter the the very light glitter that i'm using on today's design is from my macaroon collection which is available on my online store as well um mostly all products are available on my online store um the little dap and dish that i'm using is available as well uh, so yeah, there's several products that are available there. So just make sure and just go and check it out you guys link in the description box below So yeah, this is what I'm talking about you guys I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tad of that um, matte glitter around the cuticle area and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the French
now moving on to my pinky here we're gonna be doing I want to say like a color blocking sort of so I start off with the nude and then I'm gonna bring it like three-fourths down towards the nail and then I'm gonna be cutting it okay like slanted um, I didn't know which way I wanted that um, cut off to be so yeah I was having issues there trying to figure it out but then yeah I kind of did and then um look that's what I mean <laughs> so here I'm gonna be cutting you know wherever I want that um nude to end and then I'm gonna begin with my glitter after I finish the glitter like the glitter portion I'm gonna go ahead and begin like an ombre uh, towards the end of the nail. I'm gonna begin with the yellow and then I'm gonna be doing like an ombre using the same nude. It's gonna be, it's kinda gonna be like an ombre with a cutoff glitter portion, if that makes sense, you guys. You're gonna see all that in, ju in just a second. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys watch this whole process and I'll be right back. Okay, baby girl, so off camera, I went ahead and filed my Frenchie just so that it's a little bit more round and crisp and it doesn't look crooked or anything like that. So I went ahead and did that off camera and now I'm going to continue with the glitter with this matte glitter. Um, at first, I wanted to use like a glitter glitter, like a hollow glitter or something like that. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to use this matte one. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be applying it here on the, on the French that we just made. And, um, just make sure that you don't go on, since it's glitter, you don't want to go on top of the French we just created. So just make sure you just apply it, um, on the rest of the nail. And also I went ahead and applied a little bit of gold foil on top of that glitter to give it a little bit of dimension i guess i don't know to me it was looking a little flat so i thought it needed a little oomph so i just went in with a little bit of gold leaf and then i also did the same thing i don't know if you yeah you probably saw but i went ahead and did it on the pinky on that glitter portion
now it's time to cap you guys and for this i'm using my acrylic system well my monomer and my crystal clear from not polish you guys can always use my discount code it's just g-a-b-b-y gabby um and link will be in the description box below as well as my coupon code um again don't forget to use that coupon code if you guys want to go in and get yourself some stuff from not polish because yeah their stuff is pretty bomb.com so don't forget to use that discount code you guys uh so yeah i'm gonna be capping everything since we do have a lot of glitter uh we also have a fringe we also have that color blocking we have several things that we need to cap you guys and just secure that in place so whenever we come and file we do not remove that okay or we do not damage what we just created and also because of course we want to give each and every one of the nails the strength that they all need. Okay, baby girls, so now for filing, here I am using a 100-100 nail grid file to remove any acrylic stuck from the bottom of my nail to my skin. And I like to do that firsthand. I don't know, that's just how I got used to. Um, you know, everybody works different, and this is just my way of working, you guys. I'm not saying by any means that this is the correct way to do it, and this is the, the right way or this is how you should do it no this is just my way and this is what i do i just show you what i do okay <laughs> so yeah i i just begin with that file and then now i'm gonna move on with my five in one oh my god five in one panna drill bit and this is in the medium grit and i just debulk the nails and just um go ahead and seal the cuticle area so that there's no lifting so yeah i just go around that cuticle area sealing it and then i bring myself down and just debulking everything and making sure that there's any lumps and bumps
as you guys can see here I also like to take my drill bit on the sides um, because I did use double tip and it was a little it was looking a little like I don't know how to describe it it was just not looking straight at all so I do like to take my drill bit along the side walls so that it does look a little more uh, straight a little more crisp and just very nice tapered square Once I'm done with that, now I'm going to go back with my hand file, the 100-100 nail grid file and just file underneath the nails because sometimes it does look like wavy down there and I don't like that. I like everything to look very nice and straight. So I do take it underneath the nails and then I also like to further um, square the nails uh, from the sidewalls and also the tip. Now I'm going to be taking a 150-150 nail grid file. I love to do this. I, I never skip it. I never, never, never skip this step whatsoever. It's helped me uh, get like a smoother surface. My nails look a lot more smooth because sometimes the drill, it just leaves like little waves behind and I don't like that. So I like to use this. And ever since I started doing this step, you guys, I have noticed a big change in my filing process, you know, in how my nails look. So, uh, yeah, I also like to take it from sidewall to sidewall uh, so that they look a little more crisp, a little more straight. I don't know, you guys, just watch. This is what I do. This is how I got used to doing everything. Like I said, everybody works different, okay? And um, yeah, I also like to take it on the free edge, on the tip of the nail, just so that everything looks very, very straight. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and buff, but I think I did not record that. I am so sorry, but I did go ahead and buff. And then after everything's clean and wiped with a little bit of alcohol and a lint-free wipe, because that's what I do, um, I go ahead and use my matte top coat. I wanted these nails to be super matte, um, and because we are going to be doing some, like, we're going to be doing some, we're going to be adhering some decorations and we're also going to be doing a little bit of freehand. So I went ahead and added my matte top coat and I'll be curing that in the light for 60 seconds.
Okay, baby girls. So here I'm going to be using a gel from Valentino. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's like a little gold flake one. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, but it's a goldy one. And now I'm going to be doing like a honey drip. So I'm going to be outlining the French we made. And then I'm going to be doing, like I said, a honey drip. I'm also going to be doing a little bee. I'm going to be doing like... I think three of the honey drips on my ring, my middle, and my index. And I'm using a very fine brush that I got off of Amazon. So if you guys don't have these like kind of brushes, um, I would highly suggest you guys buy some because honestly, um, if you want to get more into like nail art or like a little bit of freehand this is not really freehand but if you like to do things like that on your nails i would really suggest you guys to go and get yourself some little liner brushes because they do help out a lot so yeah i'm gonna be doing the little honey drips here and i'll catch you back in a little bit So now I'm going to be adding this little teddy bear charm with the Gucci little logos on it. And I thought it went pretty well with this whole um, honeybee design since bears do like honey. So I went ahead and added that little charm on my index nail. And then here I'm going to be doing, I don't know how to describe it. If anybody knows, please leave it in the comment section. But it's that little like that little trays or little track i don't know that the little uh bees leave behind on cartoons or something i don't know this type of thing i went ahead and added the charm first this is a little goldy um bee charm that i got off of i think it was amazon a while ago i don't even know where i got it honestly but i went ahead and placed it there and then i went ahead and did that little black little dots around it and then um, i'm gonna go ahead and add some charms what no some little crystals so i'm gonna go ahead and add some yellow crystals and then around it i'm gonna go ahead and place some ab stones and these are swarovski you guys and these I, they're mixed you guys i've got them from some of some are from amazon some of them are from blue streak i think I don't even know 
and there's i've got them all over daily charm they're from everywhere you guys but yeah anyway i went ahead and added those crystals i went ahead and also added some crystals here on the cuticle or yeah around the cuticle area of the frenchie we made and at the end it does look crooked i i wanted to go ahead and take it off but it was gonna leave like a dent so i didn't want to mess with it anymore but yeah anyway now i'm gonna be doing or hanging that little dangle charm i had i really had these from last year it, and literally since last year i wanted to do something like that because i've had these dangle charms from last year but i never got to do it so i was like you know what today's a day i'm gonna go ahead and dangle you here <laughs> so yeah i went ahead and did the little hole and yeah everything this whole design i loved it i loved everything from it you guys so and this is what the design looks like i honestly hope you guys like it look like i said the my ring nail little crystals look a little crooked but you know i'm sorry you guys i'm, I'm just human but yeah anyway <laughs> i will see you on the next one thank you so much for being here honestly it means the world to me thank you for all the support here on my channel and also on my online store don't forget the 25 percent discount ends today so yeah you guys i will catch you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye